Conifer Area Council and its trails team invite you to take a virtual hike along the soon-to-be-completed first loop of the Conifer Community Trail System. Please pick up a copy of the new Conifer Community Trails brochure. It includes a map of the completed as well as the proposed future trails. This is the beginning of Phase 1 of the Conifer Community Trail System. It is also the beginning of Phase 2. Phase 1 is a loop around the Aspen Park community. The route incorporates existing sidewalks, linking missing pieces, and taking advantage of existing lightly traveled roads where possible. The trail runs down Barkley Road to the intersection with Wolf Avenue. The new trail begins just beyond the second electric pole and veers to the left, continuing around West Jefferson Elementary. The bridge in the background is the Wolf Avenue overpass. We'll talk more about that later. This is the beginning of the new trail link engineered and built by Jefferson County's Division of Transportation and Engineering, TED, with grants secured by the Conifer Area Council Trails Team from Jefferson County Open Space Conservation Trust Funds and from many Conifer community groups and individuals. Jeffco's TED and the Jefferson County School District's cooperation led to moving back the school fence in order to accommodate the new trail link on public right-of-way. This is the corner of Wolf Avenue and Sutton Road. From here you can see the long stretch of the Sutton Road Trail. The county designed and engineered the trail with a drainage pan and sloped curb for ease of winter snow plowing and sweeping. The county has incorporated the plowing of this stretch of trail into their plowing routine. This slide shows a close-up of the Sutton Road intersection with Dahlman Drive at the Conifer Post Office. This trail portion continues along Sutton Road for another block, where it intersects with Davis Avenue. At the intersection of Sutton Road and Davis Avenue, a new link ties the existing trail behind King Supers with another existing link on Davis Avenue. This short installation of new pavement allowed the completion of this link. Looking the other direction from Sutton Road down Davis Avenue, we see the existing sidewalk down Davis Avenue. The trail system is taking advantage of pre-existing pavement to the corner of Davis Avenue and Conifer Road. This shows the busy intersection of Davis Avenue and Conifer Road. Below Highway 285 at the intersection of Davis Avenue and Conifer Road is the beginning of the new underpass trail, currently scheduled for construction in the late spring of 2013, weather permitting. The trail through the 285 underpass requires rerouting of drainage and will be a curb and gutter construction. Two conditions of the grant are that we keep the trail swept and plowed in the winter. The trails team has lined up two mountain area Boy Scout troops to alternate cleanup and sweeping of the trail on a quarterly basis. Exiting from the underpass, the trail intersects with Meyer Parkway on the south side of Highway 285. This right turn is the beginning of the lightly used Meyer Parkway. At the arrow sign, the new trail link merges onto the existing dirt road, Meyer Parkway. The trail begins its use of existing lightly used dirt roads on the south side of Aspen Park. There will not be any improved trails on this side of Aspen Park. The use of the existing roadways allows a circular path around the community for walkers, hikers, and bikers that was not previously accessible except by car. Meyer Parkway continues. This slide shows the new neighborhood entrance to Meyer Ranch Open Space Park at the intersection of Meyer Parkway and Snyder Avenue. Jefferson County Open Space constructed this park entrance incorporating a new land purchase, enlarging the park, and adding a new section of trail and beautiful bridge that cannot be seen from this entrance. Trail users can enter Meyer Ranch here or continue the Aspen Park Loop along Snyder Avenue. Snyder Avenue continues providing a beautiful place to walk or bike. This is the intersection of Snyder Road and Houston. The trail follows Houston making a jog to the left and back to the right, continuing to the next intersection. At the corner of Houston and Renaud, the trail user turns left and then right at the next block. The loop continues to the stop sign at Main Street and the Wolf Avenue overpass. At this intersection, 
which is Main Street and the Wolf Avenue overpass, the trail takes advantage once again of the existing paved pedestrian bridge over Highway 285. This existing curving walkway ramping down from the overpass completes the loop around Aspen Park and Phase 1 of the community trail system. We come back to the beginning of Phase 2, the incomplete part of the community trail system and the focus of the trails team future efforts. The first issue is finding a safe point to cross Barkley Road. Jeffco's TED engineers will be instrumental in determining where that point should be. Once the trail crosses Barkley Road to have a coast road, it will make use of the county right-of-way to the end of that road. At the end of Havocoast, the trail may use the land bench that is in the CDOT right-of-way, or it may drop down into the St. Lawrence Church property. On the far side of the St. Lawrence property, we come to the recently approved Conifer Heights development. This property sits in the triangle between Highway 285, Highway 73, and Barkley Road. A trail is included in the Conifer Heights official development plan and will be accessible eventually from Highway 285 as well as the Highway 73 side of the property. The official development plan includes a pedestrian bridge across Highway 285 to the Safeway Center. This is a view of the Conifer Heights property from the Safeway Center. Along this stretch of US 285 overpass, a pedestrian bridge could be added, allowing a trail access to the Safeway Center. Looking at this same Conifer Heights property from the Highway 73 side, you can see the old Highway 285 roadway. The trail connection will make use of this historic road, circling the outside edge of Conifer Heights. A problem trail link is along this stretch of Highway 73 between the Conifer High School entrance and the old 285 road trail link previously shown. We continue to look at alternatives for this spot. Along the other side of Highway 73, the trail entrance to the Conifer High School property begins at the stoplight and makes use of existing paved walkways winding up the hill past the baseball, football, and soccer fields. The walkways are already in place, and the school district has been very receptive to having the community trails cross their properties. Continuing uphill, the trail passes in front of the school track, which is available for public use. At this point, the trail will double back and make use of the dirt roadbed that runs alongside of the softball and soccer fields. The school principal will allow use of the school parking lot and installation of a trailhead at this site. The trail continues alongside of the softball field and passes behind the future press boxes, represented by the small buildings pictured here. The trail continues past the press boxes. Just beyond the press box area, the trail will dip down into the trees between the fence and the dirt pile. Continuing through the trees, the school will install a gate in the fence shown, allowing the trail to connect with the Journey Church Trail. This map is a GPS depiction of the Conifer High School trail link. The trail through the Journey Church property exits from this wooded area and makes its way through the meadow to Shadow Mountain Drive. At the corner of Highway 73 and Shadow Mountain Drive, the trail will come out of the church meadow. A crosswalk will be installed by Jeffco's TED at the safest crossing point and the Conifer Community Trail will connect to the existing entrance to Flying J Open Space Park, completing Phase 2 of the trail system. This is the current map of completed and proposed trails in the Conifer Community Trail System. The long-term Dare to Dream Extended Trail System envisions trails connecting Denver, Bailey, and Evergreen through the Conifer Community Trails.